Hey there, we're gonna start off with my macros today. Enjoy the video. Hey there. I'm getting stuff ready for tomorrow. Let's see, so I threw away this mashed jicama. I had the one I made tonight, and then I had one left over for tomorrow. That, no, I had to trash it. It's just gross. There's something about it. I don't know why being mashed made a difference, but bleh. So, yeah, so I trashed it. Um, I can't take cabbage tomorrow because it's a whole head. Oh, maybe I'll do it. Hang on. All right, so I'm going to take this cabbage here. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of it, a whole bunch of it. I'm just going to do a little bit of it. So I'll take off the outer one. Yeah, I'm not going to cut a whole, whole bunch. I'm just going to cut some of it. I can find the knife. I don't want to use that one. Let me use this one. <clears throat> so let's see if this is... Because I need 200 grams. And I already, always buy it already cooked, so I don't even know what 200 grams is. No, I don't. I've been using 80 something grams. Well, that's good enough. It's 145 grams. I'll go with that for tomorrow. So I'm just gonna make, whoops, I'm gonna make my own for tomorrow. So, let's see if I can zoom in just a second here. Ignore my hand. I'm trying to adjust to doing it this side view and see. I've been watching this chef on YouTube. His name is Chef Jean-Pierre. And he gives cooking tips and he just did a good video about, um, about knives and stuff. So that was interesting. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in this container and I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna rinse this off. So hang on. All right, so I rinsed, I washed that off, and um, I'm going to put, so this dressing that I put on it is Honey Dijon Walden Farms, and where is it? Hang on, hang on, hang on. And it's Skinny Girl Poppy Seed. So that's what I have inside this dealy. I, oh, I forgot to tell you, I found some dressings tonight. Walden Farms Buffalo ranch that might be interesting and i had some walden farms raspberry vinaigrette got some skinny girl chipotle ranch and skinny girl honey dijon so i got some variety of dressings i think i want to taste maybe before i put this on let's see what this um buffalo ranch tastes like hang on all right, let's taste. Ugh. Come on, fella. There we go. Hang on. That's got a nice kick to it. Might be good with the Chipotle Ranch. Skinny Girl Chipotle Ranch. Hang on, let's taste this one. Oh, dadgummit. I hate whenever you go to open something and then, bam, it's got something else stopping you from you getting to it. All right. That's good. We're going to do it. We're going to see what we think. We're going to do 30 grams. Let's see. Yeah, 30 grams of the Chipotle, Skinny Girl Chipotle Ranch dressing. And then when you pull the paper off, you still end up leaving half of it behind. That's so annoying. Okay, so 30 grams. I'm kind of grouchy tonight, sorry. And today is my Thursday. So I have no, no right to be whiny. And then I'm gonna shake this up real good. This was, is Buffalo Ranch Walden Farms. So Uh, serving of this one is 
30 grams. Well, that's going to be a kick. All right. Oop, hang on. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to leave those out because I need to scan them. And then I'm going to put in, I'm going to put some of the garlic and herb seasoning instead of, um, instead of the Greek seasoning. Put a little of that in there. And of course, I got to have some sesame seeds. All right. So we got some good serious kick with my salad. There we go. So, got that going. And then this is ground beef with a salsa in it. That's one of the salsas I made. If that's going to have a kick, I don't need a big old kick with this too. So I'm going to just put some... I'm going to put in some everything bagel seasoning, some paprika, not that much, some paprika, got to have some garlic if I'm opening this thing up, some dehydrated garlic, and I'm going to put in some adobo, and that's all I'm going to do. So tomorrow, I'll have that for lunch. <clears throat> And then open in my breakfast. Where is it? And then I have my eggs. So that, hang on, y'all, I'm trying here. Um, so that, I got my lunch ready. And then I'll do breakfast in the morning or my coffee in the morning. I'll, oh, I gotta have my spoon. Hold up, hold up. I'll take a spoon and a fork. And there we go. And, um, okay, that's what I'm taking to work tomorrow, so, bye. Good morning. I heated up my coffee. I did four minutes today. just a little more water today is my Friday I get three days off uh, tomorrow mom and I are going to um, a buffet a golden corral buffet so that way we can both pick out things that we like and want so I'm hoping that there'll be some meat options, like with no gravy, that kind of thing. And, uh, so, I'm hoping. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, so we're meeting there at 11. I think it opens at 11. So we're going to meet there pretty early. So that way we can be there and uh, maybe avoid some of the lines and stuff. my two morning drinks ready I get sometimes I make electrolytes before I go to bed and keep it by the side of the bed in that case I wake up last two nights I slept real good and hard and didn't wake up a whole bunch so anyway um, yeah so I got my coffee and my electrolytes and I'm gonna rinse this out I've been Keeping this in the refrigerator since I had the chocolate in it. And uh, next time I'll, in order to help me get rid of the liquid, uh, the syrup, instead of putting it in, I'll do it the day I drink it. So like right now, after I put the water in and heat it up, 
Now would be the time that I would add the squirt of syrup, but oh well, it'll work. Hello. I heated up my eggs right here. And um, I'm going to put a little bit of salt on them. And that's what I'm going to have for my breakfast this morning. Hello. I got to look over there. Sorry, this is all a new thing for me. Hello, it's lunchtime. And I have my ground beef that I made up the other day, or last night. I get it stirred up. So most of you had said that you liked the, this view better. So <clears throat> I'm trying, I'm gonna learn to adapt. But you won't hear me whine about it for a while because that's just how I do. If something changes, I have to whine about it. Okay, now, so this. Let's see, I'm sure it'll be good. It's always good no matter what seasonings I use. I don't remember what I use from day to day, so it's always a surprise at lunch to know what I'm eating. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Cabbage. Let's see. <clears throat> this was those dressings that were different. Um, the new dressings that I had, I remember that much. I'm going to tell you, it was like eight something. So I was severely drugged up on melatonin. So I don't even remember everything I said. It's always fun because I go back and, and when I edit my videos and I'm like, oh, that's what I did. Okay. So if I ever say anything weird at the beginning of the video, it's because I'm drugged up on melatonin. So, okay. Now, let's. this, this is how it looks. That's good. I think I used Buffalo Ranch and Chipotle Ranch. I do not remember. Just refer back to whatever I did at the beginning of the video. But it's got some kick to it, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye. So, quick question. <clears throat> um, if you buy the head of cabbage instead of the bag of cabbage... If, whenever I cut it up, like, how long is that going to last? Like, the bag lasts a really long time. It usually lasts, a, like, a couple of weeks, even after it's open. So, like, after I cut up a head of cabbage, if I'm going to be eating it raw, how long, for you all, uh, for those of you who have used it, how long does that usually last? you think that'll give me a good two weeks? Because this weekend, I plan on chopping it all up. Well, I say weekend. It'll probably be Friday. I'm going to cut it up and put it in a Ziploc bag and keep it in my refrigerator. So, just wondering how, how long you think that'll last. So, let me show you all. Because of the dogs, and they play and have a good time, I got hole there and a hole there and a big old tear there in my blanket. And um, I have four dogs, and I'm not getting rid of them. So, I saved. I was like, all right, I'm going to buy from Amazon the blanket that, that I use. It's $50. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to I set $50 aside for this payday to get a blanket. So my thought is when nobody's here, you know, family isn't in town, I'll just keep using this raggedy thing. I mean, I wash it and just keep using it. And then when people come over like it for Christmas and stuff, I'll put a new one on and then take it back off when they're gone. So anyway, so this is the same blanket. Well, let me tell you. It was on sale for $26, so I bought two. I told you all I have a hoarding problem. I have to buy two of everything. So sure enough, I have, it's the king size bed is the ones I use. So sure enough, I got two for the price of the money I had put back. So that way, when humans come over, my bed doesn't look so raggedy. Ha! All right, bye. Dadgummit, y'all. I've been talking and talking and wiping down my counters. Oh, I am so sorry. Well, ground beef with um, adobo, everything bagel, and um, adobo, everything bagel, and uh, smoked paprika. I've got that in here, and then I've got jicama. So, yeah, I've just been talking to y'all. I'll go, I'll see if I can recap what I said. 
So <clears throat> I got a text message from one of my neighbors today saying, hey, you got a package on your front porch. Do you want us to go pick it up? And I'm like, nah, I'll be home in a couple of hours. That's fine. Then I got a message from the neighbor uh, across the street and she was like, hey, do you want us to go get your package? And I'm like, I'll be home in a little bit. She's like, too late. My husband's going to get it. So because, you know, the neighbor two doors down got broke into, we're all a little extra on the leery side. So anyway, I've got the sweetest neighbors, and so they picked up my stuff, and um, yeah. So my, what I was saying is that my, it's not a security system, but it's a camera system. It came in, it has five different cameras, so I'm going to work on this weekend where to set them up. I'm hoping I can put them inside where my cameras currently are. Hang on, I'll show you like where I'm wanting to try. If it So in my kitchen, I'm in my kitchen. This is the dog door. No, don't look at that. That's, I need to paint the door, but that's there because of dad used this stuff when he put in the dog door. It's not something that can be washed off. I've scrubbed it. Anyway, now that could be washed off. Anyway, so here's my current little camera right here. And so what I'm wondering is if I can put a camera like right here and if it could pick up the motion outside these windows because if somebody broke in back here i think they're going to bypass the window if they see that there's a door so and if they break in here then they're gonna the camera's going to catch them as they walk down this little area here they'll walk through here and then the camera should pick them up so anyway so yeah so I'm gonna have a camera, I'm gonna see if I can have a camera here, and then the, the burglar would be on camera and I'd get their face. And also, come on, puppy dogs. Are you coming in or not? Make up your mind. I'm also going to ha see if I can set one up. Like over here, that's where I have the one for the inside, and it's aiming at the door and the window, kind of, it's really mostly so I can watch my dog. But I'm thinking maybe I could have one set up like right here on my window. And it can just sit up here and maybe pick up movement. I'll, I don't know. I'll see. have to see where to set it up. But maybe it can pick up movement out here. If not, I can put it somewhere else. But, you know, so this might be if it can pick up movement through a window, that would be really good. Then I can angle it so that it picks up anybody coming up on my porch. So anyway, that's what I'm kind of thinking about. So we will see how it works. We'll see. Um, look at the judgment in his eyes. Um, we'll see how it all works. And that's my thought process. So, all right. Have a good night. Remember, log today, but don't log tomorrow. Bye.